welcome to how to lose it to lose what <laughs> hello how are you welcome to my youtube channel my name is sharon kalunge if it's your first time here kindly subscribe if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate i know it has been a long long time welcome to how to lose weight series and this is episode one so we're going to start with measurements let's do this for context purposes let's take measurements for context purposes this is a tape measure so we are going to take measurements I was 35. My waist was 35. So now let's see. That's and it has to be something that's going round. So yeah, that's 30. This is 30 now. And when you're losing weight evenly, you have to shed off everything. So even this was 41. Now I'm at 38 i think let's see my hips are that 39 yeah and that's 10 yeah it's like 38.5 a small backstory of me as a child i was a tiny child i've always been a tiny child and this the highlight of this was when i was joining high school and we were our school, our high school gikumene girls everyone from gikumene girls hi how are you so we, you were you had to go to a uniforms shop before being uh, admitted to school so we went to the uniforms shop they took my measurements but there was no uniform that could fit me so we had to wait my parents and i had to wait for like two hours to wait for my uniform to be ready and that's when i was like okay yeah i'm tiny I am a tiny child and then in high school uh these um i think hospitals or ngos i don't know if it was red cross or a hospital they would come and encourage people to donate blood so um after donating blood you you are you are given soda and biscuit and in high school you would do that for the soda and biscuit so why i did not donate was because i have a fear of, i have a phobia for injections still up to now syringes ah, not my thing i do it when i have it, it's the last option anyway so this one time now my fear of syringes and the love of soda and biscuit was the, the the soda and biscuit surpassed it so i was like okay yeah i'm going to donate blood i was not doing it because i am generous it's because i wanted the soda and biscuit so i went on the line and when my turn came they took my my weight and uh, they were like, your underweight, I was 45 kgs at form 4. And the irony of all this is that I remember as a teenager, I always thought I had a big stomach. I always saw myself as big. Like, I don't know. I don't know why. In 30s, 30s kgs, 30 something, between 30s and 40s, I thought I had a big stomach. Flash forward when now my weight started coming in that was in 2018 and i remember trying to now i started losing weight and um, that's when now even my complications with hormonal imbalance started then i didn't know that they were they, they are related now i know that they are related weight and hormonal imbalance they are related so uh I, i've always been someone who drinks a lot of water so water was not the question here but i always tried losing weight the most vigorous was in COVID, was covid time i would wake up go for a run i think five kilometers and then do exercises i was doing like vigorous exercise i was sweating and after all that i started at 62 kgs <laughs> by the end of covid i was at 66 67 so like I added weight and from then I just lost hope about shedding weight. And I just said, when I get rich, I'm going to do a lipo. I'm going to do gastric bypass. I'm going to do all these, these procedures. Yeah? So I just made peace with that and I loved my body ever since. Flash forward when I was writing my resolutions this year and I even did a vision board, which is still here. I don't see anywhere where I said that. 
my resolution was to lose weight because I had already made peace with that. I'm going to do a liposuction anyway, you know. So, oh, last year there's a time my friend and I, Claire, hi Claire, we we did shopping. We, we bought gym <laughs> attires and even went to inquire and then we did morning rounds for like two weeks and then that stopped, the fire stopped burning. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't have the resolution to lose weight this year. My resolution was to love God, or which I did. I, I sought Christ and I found him and I'm still working with Christ. Hallelujah. And what working with Christ does to you is that it teaches you how to love yourself. You think that you love yourself? If you're not working with Christ, you do not. Christ teaches you, like God teaches you how to love yourself. I don't know. There's, there's that... There is a fulfillment, there is a peace that comes with all that. Like when you're going through trials and tribulations, God is, will always make a way, like he's going to give you solutions. So um, I was talking about the peace. Now when I start talking about God, uh, we're not going to finish this anyway. So um, I started, like I started now looking at myself as God's child. Like I am a child of God. You know, so I started, I discovered the cardinal sins, which among them is gluttony. Ooh, and I've been overeating. I've not been eating healthy apart from water. The only thing that I did religiously since I think 2017 was drinking water. I don't drink two liters of water per day, but I drink a lot of water. Like I'm the person who, not even now when I know all these things I know about eating healthy and all that, I would always choose water over soda like that and oh another thing that uh, you guys are going to learn in this series is about what alcohol does to your body so um the last time i took anything alcoholic was in december that's when i was planning to like start my work with christ and yeah god does not allow alcoholism you know so that also was a factor for me to lose weight but I am going to be giving information as this series goes on. So kindly uh, put your questions down there. Let me know what I'm going to answer on the next uh, video. Okay, how now I decided to lose weight. Um, I did I did a body checkup last year and uh, my blood sugar was 6.4. Which now I know is pre-diabetic. Means that I was pre-diabetic. I've not, uh, within this uh, series, I'm going to do a uh, follow-up on my blood sugar levels now. And uh, another thing is that, uh, or the first content that I came across was a Netflix documentary, What You Eat. And it's about, it's just showing people, that they, they take twins who like are given different types of foods. One is given healthy food and the other one is given, okay, one was given vegan and the other one was given like normal food, what we eat. And... Within a, uh, a duration of eight weeks, they compared all these things. And now that's when now I came across uh, glucose spikes. And then the, after that, after watching that, now you know my Google search started changing. Why am I losing weight and it's not going away? And then I came across insulin resistance. And then I also came across something called glycation. I also came across um visceral fat which is the fat that covers your organs which can lead to fatty liver disease type 2 diabetes uh some types of cancers and heart problems among hormonal also hormonal imbalance and many many more like complications and that was my trigger to lose weight how did i manage to lose 10 kgs in three months this will be on the next video with your answer your questions so see you on the next one kindly subscribe to get notified when i post my next video and yeah see you